kids' educational games. I am the Wizard of Mathland, and I'm going to teach you to calculate the percent of a number. Percentage is a word that many of us are scared of, but we may be afraid because we think it is difficult to calculate. But we calculate percentages in our day-to-day -day life even without realizing it. There are a few ways to calculate percentages, and you will try them in this course. A simple way to understand percent is to understand the word itself. A percent is a ratio of a number to hundred. Percent means per hundred. Thus, twenty percent means twenty of hundred. Let's take a look at one way to calculate the percent of a number. In this example, we will use a proportion to solve the problem. N is the part or percent, that is, 40% of 100 we are trying to figure out. X is the number we are trying to find, and W is the whole number, or 230. We are trying to find the percent of. Solve the proportion to find out what number equals 40% of 230. Ninety-two. According to the problem, 40 divided by 100 equals to x divided by 230. Thus, 100 times x is equal to 40 times 230. So, x equals to 9200 divided by 100, which is equal to 92. The solution of our problem is... 40% of 230 is X, or 92. Let's try this exercise. You have to choose the correct option to get the basket. Good luck! What is 30% of 100, 45, 35, 30, 40? Thirty. Great job! Let's try this exercise. You have to choose the correct option to get the basket. Good luck! What is 50% of 200? 50, 100, 60, 40? 100. Great job! Let's take a look at another way to calculate percent. Now we know percent means per 100. Therefore, 5% would mean 5 for every 100. So, if you have to calculate 5% of 100, the answer is 5. Similarly, to calculate 5% of 200, divide 200 by 100 and you get 2. This means you have two one hundreds. Therefore, multiply 5% of 100 by 2, which is 5 times 2, which equals 10. So, 5% of 200 is 10. Let's see a table to understand this. 5% of 100. 5 multiplied by 1 equals 5. Good job! 5% 5 of 200. 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10. Good job! 5% 5 of 300. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. Good job! Calculating percent of numbers like 
two hundred, three hundred, one thousand, two thousand, or twenty thousand has now become simple. But what about percentage of numbers which are less than hundred? For numbers like ten or one, we use the same method we used earlier. For example, five percent of ten is ten divided by one hundred is equal to zero point one. That is equal to zero point five. And five percent of one is one divided by hundred is equal to zero point zero one multiplied by five. That is equal to zero point zero five. Zero point five multiplied by fifty equals. Twenty-five. Great job. Zero point eight multiplied by twenty-five equals twenty. Great job. Let's try this. Shoot the balloon by selecting the correct option. Calculate fifteen percent of one thousand. One thousand divided by one hundred equals, and multiplied by fifteen equals, one hundred, one hundred and fifty, one, one hundred and fifty, ten, one hundred and fifty, ten, one thousand five hundred. Ten. One hundred and fifty. Great job. Let's try this. Shoot the balloon by selecting the correct option. Eight percent of twenty thousand is sixteen. One hundred and sixty. One thousand six hundred. Sixteen thousand. One thousand six hundred. Great job. Let's try this. Shoot the balloon by selecting the correct option. Calculate twelve percent of nine. Nine divided by one hundred equals, and multiplied by twelve equals, zero point zero nine and one point zero eight, zero point zero eight and one point zero nine, zero point nine and one point eight, zero point one nine. And zero point one eight. Zero point zero nine and one point zero eight. Great job. How will you calculate two percent of two thousand nine hundred and fifty-six without a calculator? Click the answer box to type your answer. Fifty-nine point one two. Let's take a look at the solution. To calculate two percent of two thousand nine hundred and fifty-six without a calculator, you have to break down two thousand nine hundred and fifty-six into thousands, hundreds, tens, and units, as shown below. Now you have to add forty, eighteen, one, and zero point one eight. This will give us fifty nine point one two. That was easy. Come on, now let's have some fun. You have one hundred and fifty dollars to spend. You need to calculate the price of an item after deducting the discount in order to win the game. You may enter the store in the order that you wish to shop. But remember, you have to make one purchase in each store. You cannot buy more than one item in a single store. In the restaurant, you can select up to four items. Also, you need to add a fifteen percent tip for the waiter. Click an item on the table to select it. You have to calculate a fifteen percent tip amount.
drag and drop the tip amount against your selected item and click your order form to check your answer. You can buy a maximum of four items. You cannot buy two items of the same type. Four. 2.60 1 1.20 1.60 1 1.60 15% of 4 equals 0 0.60 15% of 2.60 equals 0 0.39 15% of 1.20 equals 0 0.18 15% of 1.60 equals 0 0.24 That's correct. Click an item then drag and drop the discount amount. Click the shopping cart to check your answer. 15% of $25 equals $3.75. That's correct. Click an item, then drag and drop the discount amount. Click the shopping cart to check your answer. 10% of $50 equals $5. That's correct. Click an item, then drag and drop the discount amount. Click the shopping cart to check your answer. 20% off $60 equals $12. That's correct. Click an item, then drag and drop the discount amount. Click the shopping cart to check your answer. 50% of $59 equals $29.50. That's correct. Click the Calculate Total button to calculate the total amount you spent in the stores and the restaurant. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the game.